Okay, so boys, your current first year students here on our football and education program. How have you found the year so far? Uh, I found it a really enjoyable year. Uh, the coaches and players have uh, both made it enjoyable as well as working hard on the training ground. Yeah, like Bailey says, it's been a good year. I've enjoyed it. I think working with co top coaches and top teachers, in fact, really do make it more of an enjoyable experience for everyone. Yeah, and you're here combining football with education, and like you mentioned there, you're working with coaches who, who are top level, um, but that must be a joy every day to come in and work. Yeah, it is. It um, not only pays off in the classroom getting your education, but on the football pitch as well, you really see improvement. I felt I've developed as a player since I've come here. Yeah, when, you, when you're at school and you hear about a course which is going to enrol your football and education together, it really is like a perfect dream to try and aspire to get into this sort of football club. And in terms of yourselves, just talk us through a little bit about what sort of players you are, what positions. Oh, I'm a striker, or uh, I can play wing sometimes. I like to bully defenders, I'm quite aggressive in my play. Yeah, I'm a defender, probably like a bit like old-fashioned, just winning headers, winning tackles. And in terms of the National Youth League campaign so far, you're in with some, some top quality teams. How have you enjoyed the challenge so far? I think with, um, at the start it was a bit of a rocky start, but that's a new to every, every we've not played many games together, we've um, got some new players, but I think as the season going on we're developing more as a team, becoming more knit, it's not just a team but a group of friends as well. Yeah, I definitely think the league's a harder league than what we've been in before, um, we started off a bit shaky with a couple of defeats, but like Bailey said it was new to everyone, trying to find our feet. But recently, not just with wins, but you look at performances from how we started the season, we've definitely improved as a side. Yeah, and you look at Saturday's, uh, sorry, your last game, uh, it was a 1-0 win against Crystal Palace. It shows you can do both sides of the game, you can you can get in front and then keep hold of the lead. Yeah, I thought um, last week was a, a big result, considering we um, wasn't the best, we didn't take all of our chances that we had. We showed great solidarity and um, team commitment to come through with yeah, it was definitely our best performance as a team. Definitely showed that fight for each other, that passion. Um, and yeah, it paid off. Yeah, and you've also been chosen to take part in a trial to be selected for the, the league's representative team, which will take place at St George's Park. How does that feel? Uh, it feels like it's a big opportunity, considering when I first came to this uh, education programme, I wasn't thinking anything like that. I was just thinking, get my head down, get my education, and play the best football I can. So it's a, it's a really big thing to come here and get opportunities like that. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much bigger than playing at the home of England. Um, it's an yeah, honour to be selected through the first phase, so now we've got to go and put the effort in, put the work in, and hopefully Wednesday will go all right. Yeah, and you both touched on it there, opportunities like the education, the education team. Um, it gives you opportunities to go and, and do different things like this, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, it's really good considering that um, people have gone from the education programme through to the youth team into the first team. It just pushes uh, people like us to train harder and take the opportunities we're given. Yeah, it gives you that pathway of where you start here and this is where you could end up. But not only that, with the education side, it's always got your fullback plan if football doesn't quite work out. And you're both in your first year now. Um, obviously, you've got your second year next year, but what are your aims for the, for the rest of your first year? Um, to get, um, get my grades and just uh, carry on playing good football and hopefully take the opportunities I'm given. Yeah, again, hopefully we can push on right, into the next stage, but if that wasn't to work out, we'd, I mean, I'm looking at university, sort of America, just other pathways with football and education combined.